Installing and setting up Metasploit Community Edition on Kali Linux, this time on Metasploit Minute. This Metasploit Minute is brought to you by Hack5 and viewers like you. Support us directly at hakshop.com. Welcome to Metasploit Minute, the breakdown on breaking in. I'm your host, Rob Fuller, but you can call me Mubix. In this minute, we're going to be setting up Metasploit Community Edition on Kali Linux. The great thing about Kali Linux is it's already there. So I'm going to show you just exactly how to just start it up, get registered, just like we did with Debian and uh, Windows 8, and move on from there. So let me show you the screen. So in here, all we do is do a service, start, PostgreSQL. So we start up the database. I swear I know how to do this. Start. That's it. So next up, we start Metasploit. Starts up the services. We should be good to go after that. We go to the 3790. And in a few seconds, it should be live. So let's just check. Real quick way to check how far it's, it's gone through setting up is we go through and just do an ls of Heck, N, P, I, grep for listen. So the 3790 port isn't up yet. We're just going to wait a few seconds, and as soon as it comes up, we'll come back to you. All right, as you can see in my watch screen, and I'll show you how to do that in a few seconds, 3790 is up. Watch is basically a command in, in Linux world where you can say, run this command every few seconds and tell me what changed in the results. So I use it to watch for listening ports or connections coming in. We just piped in the, the listen like we did before, and now it's good to go. So we go over to our, our uh, web interface again. We say yes. We accept the 3790 um, self-signed cert. It is now starting up. We wait for this to finish, and we should be good to go. All right. So. We've come back in, in the Ruby process. We used, used top to find out when this thing was kind of scaling down. What happens when you first start up Metasploit, and this happens on every install of Metasploit, is when it, and only ones that are connected to the database, I should clarify that, um, is that it caches all of the modules and everything inside of the database so that when you start up Metasploit again, it'll be a lot quicker, a lot faster, and a lot more responsive. So you'll just have to do this one time. It'll get all the cached, inside, cached modules inside of the database, and you should be fine. So we watched top and waited for it to kind of scale back from 99% of our CPU. And now we're at our well-known um, first user prompt. So we do our standard first user. We put in our password. User msf at hack5.org, hack5. We will switch it to Pacific time because we are on the beautiful San Francisco coast. Hit create account. As we did with our Debian install, we've already got our key downloaded. We're going to copy that over, paste, activate, and that's it. Again, we are completed with our Metasploit installation. We're going to go into a lot more detail in, in other segments. So tell me what you think. Hit me up at msf at hack5.org and stay tuned to metasploitminute.com for more shows like these. Until then, I'm Ubix and I'll be hacking till the cows come home. Oh,